Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to do some power sun salutations. So um, you should know most of the um, postures that we're going to do, um, but I'm going to add some power to them um, and just make it a little bit more exciting. Um, so it won't be too long, maybe 20, 30 minutes. I always seem to go on longer than I say. Um, but yeah, so get ready to maybe get a bit of a sweat on. So grab some water and maybe a towel. Um, we're going to start standing up today at the top of our mats. So we're just gonna get into our mountain pose nice and strong, so we're gonna set it up properly. So toes touching, heels slightly apart. Shoulders are gonna roll down the back of the spine, palms facing forward. The tendency when we do this is to create a back bend and we don't want this to happen. We want to pull the muscles of our pelvic floor up so that we go from a back bend to one strong straight line. So you can do this with your hands to test to see if you are making a back bend and then just you need to pull up the muscles and this will tuck the pelvic floor under and bring your belly button up higher. And again maybe you roll the shoulders back in case you've hunched forward. Heart shines up nice and tall. Nice strong mountain postures. Now we're going to bring our hands all the way up to the sky. Again, making sure you haven't lost the um, positioning with the pelvis. And then we're going to fold forward, but we're going to fo fold only halfway. So this is going to be really engaging a lot of the muscles. So nice and strong out um, down the backs of the legs and then engaging the side muscles of the core. So the obliques. And then we'll forward fold. And then we'll halfway lift, maybe bringing your hands to the shins if it's the first one of the day. And then we'll forward fold again. And then halfway lift. And then forward fold again. And then we're going to step back to plank. And we're going to hold here. So we're going to fire up these cores to get them ready for the rest of the practice. Making sure you're not dipping too low or too high. So you can always lower the, lower the knees here first or we're going to come straight into Chaturanga. So elbows tuck in and we lower to the mat and then upward facing dog or cobra and downward facing dog. So we'll take a moment to get into the right positioning our downward facing dog. So feet hip width distance, hands shoulder width distance. If you want to, you can come up high onto the toes to push your heart closer to the mat and then gently lower the heels towards the mat. You want to be gazing to your belly button. So we'll see if we can test our balance here. So we're going to lift off the left leg nice and high. And then we're going to see if we can lift off that right arm. making sure you're focusing on one spot on the mat beneath you. This will help you maintain the balance and then lower. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So lifting that right leg up, left arm off. No worries if you fall out, just come back into it and then lower. And then we're gonna stay forward to plank. and then push back, downward facing dog. And again, snake, snake the body forward to plank. And then we'll lower. We're gonna do some um, Chaturanga push-ups here. So again, you can put the knees down because we have worked quite hard and it's only the start of the practice. We're gonna, if you want to do them like this, then just lower, 
like that, or if you'd like to do the whole full chaturanga push-ups, nice strong plank, elbows tucking in, and we'll do three. So we're lower one, push up, two, push up, three, come all the way down to the mat, and we'll come into a cobra pose. Then we'll push back and come into our downward facing dogs. Then we'll bring the feet to the middle, bend through the knees, step walk or jump to the top of the mat, roll up slowly, head and neck coming last. And then we'll bring those hands all the way up to the sky. And then back through heart center. So we're gonna do another variation of sun salutation A's. So hands up to the sky, halfway forward fold, forward fold, halfway lift, step walk or jump back to chaturanga. So you can either jump back to plank or you can, can come straight into chaturanga here. So I'll show you how it's done. So hands are next to the feet, lift them up and jump and lower to chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. So again, we'll shift forward into our plank and do some chaturanga push-ups. So we'll take three, remembering you can always lower the knees. So we'll go for one, push-up, two, push-up, three, and then we'll come to our upward-facing dog or cobra. Push back, downward-facing dog. Remembering you can always take child's pose if that is what your body is asking for. Then we'll bring the feet together, bend through the knees, lift to the top of the mat, jump between the hands, roll up to standing, head and neck coming last and then bring your hands to heart center. So now we'll do some sun B va variations. So we're gonna sink down into our chairs, so heels to feet, uh, toes touching, heels slightly apart. Then we're gonna sink into our chairs. As we go down, we're gonna see if we can sweep the fingertips to graze the floor before we go up, just to make sure we're getting nice and low. So as you squat down, bring those arms, graze past the mat and then bring them up. And then we'll forward fold, halfway lift. Now either stepping back to plank or doing jump back straight to chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. So we're going to test our balance again here, but we're going to do um, lift up the left leg and the, and the left arm. So we lift the left leg up. And then see if you can test the balance. Lift that left arm off too. And lower. And then lift that right leg up. See if you can get the right arm off. Focusing on one point on the mat. This is going to keep you steady. And lower back down. Now we're going to lift that right leg up to the sky, bring it through to the nose, gently place it in between the hands and rise up to our warrior one. So nice strong warriors, making sure the hips are square, powering up through the arms up to the sky.
and then we'll lower. Step back to plank, knees, chest, chin, or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. So now we've got the left side, lift the left leg up, bring it through to the chest, place it in between the hands as quietly as possible, and then power up to our warrior one on the left side. So again, making sure the hips are square. If this is challenging on the back foot, you can come up onto the toes. Bring those arms up nice and high. Then we'll frame the front foot, step back to plank. Knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. So we're gonna take some bunny hops here. So they can be as tiny, tiny or as big as you want, but please be careful, I am not there to catch you. So if you have a wall um, or something like that to do it against, and I re recommend doing it like that, or just take really tiny bunny hops so that you don't have the element of maybe flipping over. So they can just look like this, and that's fine, or they can come up higher. So we're gonna take five all together. So I'll bend through the knees, go for one, and come back to our downward facing dog. See, it's very easy <laughs> to come over or to the side, so just be careful. Then we'll bend through the knees, look between the hands, jump to the top of the mat, and then come up to standing, head and neck coming last. I'll bring the hands to heart centre. So we're gonna do another round just like that. So toes touching, heels slightly apart. Inhale, hands up to the sky. And then we're gonna sweep down and cut, graze past the mat, come into our chair. In our chairs here, we're gonna try and lift off that right leg, keeping the knees together, just lifting the right leg off. And hold, nice and strong. And lower. And now the left leg. and lower, and then we'll forward fold. Then we'll come to halfway lift. And then again, either stepping back to plank or jumping back straight into chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. Lift that right leg up to the sky. Maybe opening the hip here. Now bring it through to the chest, place it in between the hands, rise up to warrior one. Lower step back to plank, knees, chest, chin or chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra, downward facing dog. Now we'll lift up that left leg, maybe bending the knee to open up the hip. Bring the knee to the chest, place it in between the hands, power up to warrior one. Frame that front foot, step back to plank, lower knees, chest, chin or chaturanga, upward facing dog or cobra. Push those hips back, downward facing dog. So now we're gonna take some little dolphin push-ups. Um, I thought that you guys were dreading for when this part was coming. So we're gonna lower either, so we'll all lower the left arm, left forearm, and then the right forearm. Maybe walking the feet in a little bit. Push up through the right, up through the left. Then we'll lower through the right, lower through the left. Push up through the left, up through the right. 
So you can either carry on doing it just like that, left, right, left, right, which is very powerful as it is, or if you'd like to challenge yourself even more, then you can come and lower both forearms at the same time and walk those feet in into our dolphin posture. And then see if you can push up both hands at the same time. And then everyone just meet in downward facing dog or take a child's pose. And we'll bring those feet together, bend through the knees, look through the hands, jump to the top of the mat and rise up. And then we'll bring our hands to heart centre. We'll just close off the eyes for a second. Just ground back. Catch our breath back as well. So now we're going to lift this right leg up and hold it nice and strong, really feeling the power through your left leg. And then we're going to step back into our warrior one. And then we're going to open to warrior two. Really sinking into that left knee, arms come out long. Then we're going to sweep this left right arm up and as we do come onto the back toes, so we come into our high lunge. And then we're going to push into the left foot and come to a warrior three. Then we're going to sweep, swing the arms back and open back up into a warrior two. Then sweep this right arm through as we do that, turning onto the toes of the back foot into our high lunge. And then push off into warrior three. And then with control, landing back in our warrior two. Sweep the hand round one more time to our high lunge. And then power to warrior three. Then we're just going to lower the hands to the mat and so we can step back to our plank. Lower knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Downward facing dog. So feel free to take a child's pose, stay in downward facing dog or take a dolphin. It's up to you. This is your practice. Then we'll bring those, actually we're going to walk the feet in and really engage the core muscles. So we're going to tiptoe as slowly as we can. So coming up nice and high and see how far, how close you can get to your hands until you have to stop and then roll up to standing. Bring your hands to heart centre and breathe. Nice, long, deep inhales and exhales here. So now we've got the repeat the same on the other side. So lifting that left leg up nice and strong, feeling nice and powerful through that right leg. Then we'll step back into our warrior one, sweep the arms up. And then we'll open up into our warrior two. Then we're gonna sweep this left hand, hand under. And as we do this, flipping those back toes round so into our high lunge. And then pushing off Whoops, <laughs> pushing off that back foot, coming into our warrior three. And 
and then we'll step back, open our arms up into warrior two. Swing this left arm around, come into our high lunge. Push off the back toes, come into our warrior three. With control, land back in our warrior two. I've lost count, so I think we'll do one more. <laughs> Sweep that left hand around into our high lunge. Push off and come into warrior three for the last time. Then we'll lower the hands to the mat. Step back to our plank. Lower knees, chest, chin or chaturanga. Upward facing dog or cobra. Push back down with facing dog. So now we're going to bring the feet to the middle and we are going to, so you can either do a walk through like we did before and see how far you can bring your feet through. We're going to come to seated or you can jump to seated. So I'm going to show a walk through. So come high up on our toes and walk through until you can't get any further and then cross them over until your bum reaches the mat. So we're going to do a, we'll do a little bit of core work actually. First, so we're going to have come into our boat and we're going to do some boat dips. So we'll go for five here. So we're going to lower about six inches off the floor, feet and back and up. One, lower, two, lower, three, four, five. And then we're just going to lower our feet with control down to the mat. And then we're going to get ready for a seated forward fold. So you can pull the flesh away from your bum cheeks, just gives you a little bit more leverage to get further down, a little bit more space. So we want to flex our toes up to the sky. Body's growing up nice and tall up our spine. And then we're going to lift our, our hands up higher. This is going to help us elongate the spine as much as possible. And then fold forward, try not to round the back. So you might need to bend the knees to be able to get to touch the toes and that's fine. If you can touch the toes then using it as a grip to pull yourself closer, but I don't want to see you rounding. You need to have your heart shining forward. With every inhale, growing a little bit longer and then deepening into the posture with every exhale. And then we'll come up and then we're going to lower onto our backs. And we're just going to hug our knees in, just give our legs a little bit of a massage. So just making little gentle circles round in one way and then just making sure you do them the other way. And then we're just going to release everything down to the mat into our Shavasana. So making sure the heels are on the mat and the toes just fall out nicely to the side. Palms facing up towards the sky and chin tucked slightly towards the chest. Just really trying to melt into the mat.
feel free to spend longer here. If not, I'm going to start to close the practice. So just start to bring the awareness back to the body. Wiggling your fingers and your toes, maybe making circular motions of the wrists. We're going to stretch our arms nice and long behind us. And then hugging everything into the body. Fall over to one side, using your arm as a pillow. And then gently start to push yourself up in absolutely no rush. And then just come to a seated posture on your mat. And we'll take one last releasing breath all together. So inhale, hands up to the sky. And exhale. <sighs> Namaste. Thank you everyone for flowing with me again. Um, I would recommend doing a nice stretch after this as we didn't really do any stretching postures at the end. Um, I will put a link below to a couple um, of videos um, on my YouTube so you can literally just go into the comments and it'll be there for you and take you there straight away. Um, so yes, enjoy the rest of your days and hopefully see you guys on the mat again very soon. Bye.